In this problem, they're asking us to find dy dx using what's called logarithmic differentiation. So basically that means that we take the log of both sides and then we use properties of logs and then we find the derivative. So it's a really good strategy whenever it's messy. Like if you were just to take the derivative here, it would be, it would be pretty messy. So we'll start by taking the log of both sides. So ln of y equals ln of all of this stuff. Now, all of this stuff can be rewritten. There is really a parentheses and a one here. So it's really all of this and it's one over three. So it's like this, x plus one over x minus one. And it's all to the one over three, just like that. All right, now we can use properties of logs to rewrite this. This side stays the same. And over here we can take uh, this one third and put it in the front. So this is one third, natural log of all of this stuff. So x plus one over x minus one, just like that. All right, and now we can use further properties, right? We have a fraction, it turns into subtraction. That's the um, quotient rule for logs. So this is the natural log of y equals one third parentheses so natural log of the top piece, so ln of x plus 1 minus, and then an ln of the bottom, ln of x minus 1, just like that. And now we're in a good place. We can go ahead and take the derivative. So taking the derivative of both sides with respect to x, on the left-hand side, we just get 1 over y times, chain rule, the derivative of the inside function with respect to x is just dy dx equals the one third hangs out here. Here we'll get one over x plus one. Write the derivative of ln x is one over x. So here it's one over x plus one times the derivative of the inside, but that's just one minus, same thing here, one over x minus one times the derivative of the inside, which is one. So we use the chain rule <laughs> all three times, right? One, two, three times, and it was exactly the same, except we got different results. All right, last thing to do is maybe multiply by y. So dy dx equals, so I'm gonna put a y here and put a y here. Boom. So you get one third y, parentheses, one over x plus one, minus one over x minus one. And some people like to replace y with what it is. Uh, sometimes you can and sometimes you can't. Uh, I'm just going to leave it because sometimes you can't. So I'll just stop there. You, you, could, you could take this, right, this y, and plug it back in uh, down here. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there in the world. Good luck.